The objective is simple. Find a way to improve your aim as quick as possible. Oh my god! And it all starts with answering one simple question. Can you spot the enemy? Oh, it's an enemy. <laughs> You blend it in. That's what Halo looks like when outlines are turned off. This is what I call Halo on hardcore mode. No reticle, no HUD, no outlines. I hit him first time. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. I'm hitting him. And it's the secret to becoming a Halo aimbot. Only thing I'm focusing on is keeping my enemy center. Oh, nice. Okay. Got a decent kill there. Because if I can feel the aim assist, then I'll know I don't have to aim as harder with my right stick. Oh, yeah. Let's try this. Oh, I almost got him. Oh my god. Okay, let's let's try this again. Oh, we hit him though. Interesting. Feeling like I was onto something, I really tried to just focus on aim assist. Okay. Oh my god, dude. We just What? Call it instincts, call it luck, call it whatever you want, but maybe there's something I'm not seeing. Maybe I'm just not seeing the whole picture. Like it's like once you snap onto it and feel it. You just gotta leave it there. Before we pursued our crazy theories, I needed a baseline. So I turned everything back on and went into an aiming simulator. All right, so first things first, put this on 60 seconds. And when we're ready, we click activate. Lightning fast. Oh, shit. So I repeated this pointless exercise for a total of three different distances, as if that would make any difference. But it was really hard because I had no aim assist to help me out, unlike some cheaters out there who rely on their aim bots. But luckily for me, my next challenge is going to be a little more upbeat. What do we get? 65. Okay, 78, 75, and 65. We got this, we got this, we got this, we got this, we got this. Now this was a lot more satisfying, and after I had enough multi-kills to last me to the next Halo game, I finally had my baseline. 22 kills and 75% accuracy. We were ready now to take our theory and put it to the test. Right after we got our sniper fix, of course. You get a bullet. You get a bullet. You get two Oh. I decided to play against bots to spare my teammates from the agony of witnessing my pathetic performance. I mean, I was playing handicapped. What can you expect? But what I first noticed is that everything was pretty normal, except for the fact that I was shooting at walls and missing every shot. Eventually, though, it felt like I got the hang of it. That was, that was decent. Don't get me wrong. It was still really freaking hard. Oh, God. Oh, wow. I think I hit that guy perfectly. Ooh, I hit that guy, too. But it wasn't until the very end that I got my first insight. I could already feel like my centering is, I, I have to center, you know? With centering being my new focus, I wanted to try it out on a different map, one that I play a lot. All right, let's try this again. My love. Oh, still got it. Oh, I'm so close to getting a perfect. But it was only a few minutes into it that I actually got my second insight. I feel like I'm just more aware. Like, when there's less stuff on my screen, I can just... I see new things. I see different things. Things I didn't see before. Nice. That was decent. So, teams over there. Guys right there. We're gonna be B or bottom middle. I literally said that. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is so hard. Ugh. Man, it's just making my sniping completely useless and... Oh crap, hold on. Kill this guy. I could really feel the aim assist at like a certain distance right there. That was, that was weird. And now we had our third insight. So with two maps down, we needed a new objective game type on a different map. Normal open. Up, up. A grenade. If I can shoot those. Yeah, no. can't shoot those at all. Two hours later. Did it. There we go. <laughs> oh, I think I just got a perfect. I did just got it. Oh my god, I just got a perfect. You don't have a reticle, like, you play way more tactically. Like, I'm just, like, jiggle peeking here. Oh my god, did I just get a triple kill? No way. And even though we don't get this overkill right here, my newfound confidence pushed me to take things to the next level. Oh, I didn't even pick up the shock rifle. Now I'm a new man. Oh, this was something I didn't expect. My sniper game is basically useless now. Okay, I'll take it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to come to terms with that. Oh, nice. Once we hop into ranked. Ugh, just a little bit higher. 
Ah, oh, man, it's so hard to use that. So hard. But before we subjected ourselves to the ranked blunder where we would be chopped, sliced, and diced by the pros and other onyxes, we had to play one more map on one more game type on hardcore Halo mode. Which begs the question, will we be shot, stabbed, and blown up by the bots? Let's find out. Oh, the stalkers on this map. Man, the stalkers like the ultimate test of how your aim is. Sentinel beam is going to be another weapon I need to try out. I've been wanting to test you out for a long time, buddy. Crap. Let's see how it goes. In only a matter of minutes, I got my fourth insight and... Oh, I hit the first two. It makes a lot of sense. Honestly, I think I figured out... What's... What this is making me do. I'm only like positioning myself into areas where I know I either have help or I know I can take the enemy out. Like teammates over there, we, we can pinch them. Oh, that was pretty good. Oh, another one. Oh man, is that a triple kill? Let's try and pick up that sentinel beam, see what happens. What I'm having trouble describing with my tiny chimp brain is every weapon has an ideal range, right? We all know that. But it was once I started picking up other weapons, I realized there's something even deeper to it. Yeah, this is, this is fun. <laughs> something about it just feels more natural. Like this is how it's meant to be used. Let's try this out. And this is like, this is like the ultimate way to improve your aim with whatever weapon. It forces you to like understand its range and well, like optimal range because you can feel aim assist better at certain distances. Like right there, I just, I really don't feel it. But if I get just a little bit closer, I bet I can really feel it. See like right there, I feel it. You need to find that distance. Oh, that was a pretty close distance right there too. I don't know exactly how far it is. Maybe from like here to the end of the um, the edge of the wall. So once you find that distance, you can like better position yourself. That's what's interesting. It's so like once you find that distance and you lock it on, then the left stick becomes a, oh, well, then the left stick becomes like the, your next tool, you know? Find the distance, line up the target, attack. Just that seems so easy, right? After slaughtering bots for days, it was judgment day. We had to prove ourselves. Did playing without a reticle, HUD, and outlines improve our aim? Our first go around, we got 78. So let's see what we got this time. 92. 92. Holy crap. We improved by a lot. And it wasn't just the first distance. All three distances, we saw improvement. But it was time to test our range and our accuracy. Just got a really focused left stick. Zoom in on the far ones for the one shots. We got this, we got this. When we first started on this journey, we got 22 kills and 75% accuracy. Anything more than that will be an improvement and I'll feel confident in moving forward. Same amount of kills though, 22. But the accuracy improved by almost 5%. Wow, look at us. We're so good at shooting pixels on a screen. I'm proud, but the ultimate challenge still lies ahead. Can we defeat the elite gamers who have no life outside of this game? AKA Onyx players, AKA myself. I don't recognize any of these guys. Oh god. Yeah, I can't see him. Okay. Oh god. Oh god, please. Yeah, I'm no help. Oh, I almost killed him! No! <laughs> Oh my god, he destroyed me. I am one at nine. Jump up. Oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, so we went negative 10. Okay, okay, that's enough pain for now. I was missing something. So I decided to go to one of the best in the game to ever play and ask for some help. All right, I suck at centering my aim before I see the enemy. Uh, do you have any best practices? Um, shooting against bots, turn your real location on and focus on your centering when you're turning corners and stuff like that. What if I told you, you can see the optimal range of every weapon without a reticle. How do I know this? Look at the yellow dot. This only appears when your reticle is on the opponent and within optimal range of the weapon you are using. 
Oh, once that yellow dot comes on, it's game on, you know? And when I figured that out, we had level one of how to improve your aim as quick as possible. Okay. Oh. Oh, man, I'm kind of on now. Oh. Oh, my God. Let's go. Sorry, buddy. After you're feeling good with level one, it's time to implement Snakebite's advice. Reveal the enemy location. This was the coolest part of the entire process. I can't describe in words how satisfying these no scopes were. Jeez. The incremental, like, adjustment and difficulty. Oh, I just snapped to that guy. Oh, my goodness. It's just... Oh, my God. This is, this is insane. Like, I'm so looking forward to what it's going to be like when I have a reticle. Like, I'm just constantly ready. You know where they're going to be, you know? Oh my god. That was insane. Get out. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Gross. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. Jeez. Like you start to understand where the actual center of your screen is and... Man, it feels good. But after enough of that, it was time for level three and it felt like I was hacking. I was shooting these bots so fast with the sniper that the game couldn't even keep up. I had hit him square in the dome. I already feel like it's so easy. Oh my goodness. I don't know if that's like a placebo or what, but man, it just, I can, I can see. <laughs> Yeah, BR feels great. Oh my goodness. There was only one thing left to do. Play a little matchmaking. Kill. No scope.